Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. In our YouTube video, What is DICOM? We explain what this standard is and how it relates to the radiology spectrum. DICOM is the language of the x-rays and is a standard format that complies with HIPAA standards. It is inherently encrypted and can be safely shared within and between networks. Many doctors have expressed concern that their x-rays within their clinics are not DICOM compatible. This can be an important question when a clinic desires to share their images with other facilities or simply wants their images in a safe format that is standardized and recognized. DICOM allows you to manipulate images to a desirable look, label and annotate your x-rays, apply algorithms to optimize the quality, share with other medical practice software and archive databases, and to allow effective image management across a network. DICOM also interfaces with HL7 applications, which allows for additional functionalities with the imaging software. If a physician does not have a system that is DICOM based, they run the risk of susceptibility within an unsecure environment. The doctor may or may not be able to submit their images to a medical grade archiving database, and their backup storage methods may not be HIPAA compliant. Most radiologists will not accept images that aren't in DICOM format. This is because DICOM has become a standard where the patient information is an integral part of the DICOM file. In the future, when the doctor may need to migrate his data from one location to another or from one software to another, DICOM enables the images to be safely reconciled and accounted for. Non-DICOM images can compromise the integrity of the data migration. So there is no question that, if at all possible, doctors should strive for a DICOM environment with their x-rays. One way to ensure that a clinician's x-rays are in fact DICOM is to search image or data files where x-rays are stored. This will either be on a server or computer. If you know which computer they reside on, click on the Windows Explorer and look for these files. They will most likely be within a folder that is named after the X-Ray software. So if the software is named X-Ray Snapshot, then find the file and then the subfolders, images or data. Once you locate these files, then search for a file suffix DCM. They are usually labeled as such, but not always. If you have doubts, call the tech support number for your system and ask them point blank if their images are stored as DICOM files. You shouldn't need a contract with tech support to ask these questions. If they do ask you if you are under contract, tell them that you are considering purchasing another system and need to know that information. Consider watching our other videos for more information on this topic. That concludes this segment on Are My X-rays in DICOM Format? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.